You may be hurt, baby. That ain't no lie. You see them come and go. And I remember how you told me it made you believe in no man and no cry. Maybe that's why every little thing I do never is enough for you. Use it again, but I'm not like them. Baby, when you finally get to love somebody, guess what? It's gonna be me. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage the 44 Charlton Dancers. Got no choice, baby. Gotta move on. There's no time to waste. But you're just too blind to see. But in the end, you know it's gonna be me. You can't deny. Just tell me why, baby. Everything I do never was enough for you. Baby, you can do it again. But I'm not. Baby, when you finally get to love somebody, guess what? It's gonna be me. Yes, I got my two moves. Let's hear it for these beautiful creatures. Show them what you got, baby. Do, do a signature move. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> this is my assistant, Zach. He got Shanghai at around 4.30 this afternoon. And they only had small t-shirts at the CVS. You understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> there you go. Oh my God, it's like a West Side Story audition from hell. I'm Julian Fleischer. This is my friend, John Sperney on piano. Welcome back to 44 Charlton. God help us, we don't know what's going to happen tonight, but what a week it has been. I think we all need a little break from the news. When is the last time we saw an attorney general just lie right to our faces? It's been 30 years, 40 years, I don't know. Terrific week to be an American. So let's refuel our tanks, shall we? Let's dig down deep with beautiful people, charismatic people, creative people, givers. That's what artists are. We're here to give to you some fresh energy, some hot fuel to get you through to the next month. And we're going to take some of that energy back from you, if that's okay. How do you feel? You want to give us some love, too? Thank you so very much. We have an extraordinary show, as usual. A freaky cavalcade of New York stars. I can't really even explain what's going to happen, because I don't really know. But I'm looking forward to it. So, if you will, uh, indulge us. We will um, take you out with this. In Cinco de Mayo, it's going to be May last chorus of this song and and forgive me if i look at the lyrics because guess what you don't know them either <laughs> trust me you don't really know these lyrics here we go you guys know your moves one a two one two three every little thing i do never seems enough for you you don't want to lose it again <laughs> but i'm not like now maybe when you find a Get to love somebody Guess what? It's gonna be me Yes The 44 Charlton Dancers And my assistant <laughs> What? Thank you very much I appreciate that you like it I've worn it enough I gotta buy a new suit soon um, all right, let's not delay, shall we? We don't want to run over as we seem to do every week. So, you know, we got our guests from a number of different sources over the, over the last three seasons. I've had the pleasure of inviting many of my former colleagues to the stage here at 44 Charlton, John Sperney among them. I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, in the trenches of showbiz in this town. I'm very famous in New York from like 14th Street down to like 2nd Street. <laughs> 
and then like Avenue A over to Lafayette. I have Lafayette locked up. I feel good about Astor Place. Anyway, so, oh. It's like that, huh? We'll work on that. We'll, we'll, we'll polish that up for next month. Uh, but this next act, I decided to find in an altogether modern fashion, which is to say Instagram. I was scrolling along, looking at the hot boys, and I was like, all right, I have a show. You know, I can just invite him. So that's what I did, ladies and gentlemen. I looked him up online, and he said, yes, I'm very excited to announce the bastard love child of Freddie Mercury and Liza Minnelli. Put your hands together for the one and only Jack Barrow. Yes, that is how it is. Yes, there you go. Why don't you come join me over here, Jack? Yes. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, what a great show. I just, <laughs> well, have a seat, why don't you? Can I offer you a drink? I'd really like to get you drunk. Uh, I would love a drink. <laughs> we have, um, uh, 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 oh, two types of, two types of tequila. Do you prefer the pea colored or the clear colored? 
clear colored. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah. you know, it's early still. Casamigos is reputable. It is, it is. George just, Clooney. A lot of money, just sold it. Hang on, yeah. please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've just got one word, Instagram. You need Instagram. to get on it. You need to get yeah. on it and look at it. Instagram. You know, <laughs> yeah, feel free to take pictures and post away. That's how we get people to come back. Jack, thanks so much for showing up. Thank you for having me. We've been talking about this for a while, and here you are. Yeah. If I had known that wearing a red Speedo and dancing around to a queen was a way to get work, I would have done it years ago. You know, I would have done it sooner, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so where are you from, Jack? What brings you to New York? Um, I'm originally from California, mm -hmm. um, Sacramento area. And you couldn't do this there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Heck no. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I just... I, I'm an actor from California. You're no moved kidding. here to go to theater school. Mm -hmm. No kidding. <laughs> um, and I went to conservatory and just you're kind classically of trained naturally. <laughs> naturally, um, yeah. I mean, I did my homework. Um, you know, trying to get into the burlesque scene and stuff like that, and um, ended up falling into it by way of a friend. Um, after I kind of got disgruntled on like. The cattle calls and but when all did of that you, kind of stuff. You, I want to know like actor. what happens. Did you wake up one day and go like, oh, you know, I could dance burlesque? Yeah. Well, I have always um, found a lot of power in my sexuality and my sexual expression. And thank you. Thank you. I've found a lot of power I'll in your drink sexual to expression. That. If you want to know the truth. Uh, um, and and I don't know. I I always like kind of got cast as the like lascivious like sexy guy all the time mm. and so i was like why not use it to my favor <laughs> yeah good for you you're an actor you yeah. got to uh use what you got find yeah. out what they like and how they like it yeah and it's got to get a gimmick and all it, that it's stuff. way more than stripping you know like it's it's um it's an expression it's it's art you know it's performance art it is yes it's well of course if like it were not art it wouldn't be here on 44 charlton <laughs> ladies and you. gentlemen Thank you. We are a very highfalutin <laughs> outfit here. <laughs> we only do the good stuff. No, but I mean, you really are. And I know that you travel with a crew of other artists who yeah. similarly have turned the, the sort of the burlesque renaissance into something very special and meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's an amazing community to be a part of, and it is growing into its own still. It's had a resurgence I from can see that. what it used to be and it's I'm still kind going of to an its own. Can you hang on one <laughs> second? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can somebody back there bring me my card for the next act? I hate to, to, uh, to show you the, <laughs> the machinery behind all of this polish, but um, <laughs> I have no idea who's about to come on stage and I don't have my card. I couldn't help you. Um, yeah, I know it's the comedian. I don't know his name. All right. <laughs> yes, I do, but I, I want to make sure I pronounce it. Thank you so much. Oh, there's our 44 Charlton dancer, Woo! Sachi. <laughs> Forgive me. I just didn't want to be rude to the next performer after no. having been so rude to you. Oh. <laughs> no, listen. So, Jack, I, I know that you're sitting there naked, and uh, I know you probably want to put on a sweater or a wrap. Well, I want to put on my next costume. Yes, because you're going to come back, right? Yeah. Jack Barrow, ladies and gentlemen, he is not done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd shake your hand, but they're full. All right, see you soon. Woo. Woo. Come on, 44 Charlton, right? We never disappoint. Forgive me, my next guest is listed in Time Out as one of five comics to watch in 2000. 18, so here we are in 2019, still watching him. He appeared on Patriot Act with his homage and wrote for uh, Paid Off on True TV. He's been on the off-Broadway world premiere of Dance, uh, for which he received a Drama Desk Award. He received a grant from the Jerome Hill Foundation. Put your hands together for Ike Ufomadu, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just the first of many words I'll be sharing with you this evening, including, but not limited to, including, but not limited and to. That final two, of course, being the version of the word to spelled T-O. Now, I don't want you to be surprised if over the course of my set, 
I also use the versions of the word to spelled T-O-O and T-W-O, both are fine words that I have had the privilege of using on many occasions in the past, not only uh, professionally, but uh, personally as well. <laughs> I understand that uh, many of you out there are here tonight. <laughs> By show of hands, who's here? Keep them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. <laughs> Wonderful. And on a scale of woo, how is everyone? Woo! Is there anyone who is not woo? Wow. An all-woo crowd. This is that Friday night all-woo crowd my mother warned me about when I was moving to New York. I'm joined on stage by the SM87A microphone from Shure, a quality microphone, as you can attest to. And uh, if you can't attest to it yet, just listen to these results. La 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 if an SM87A didn't make that sound, then I don't know what did. <laughs> I'm also joined on stage by my shoes, which, uh, anyone out there also wearing shoes right now? Yes. All right, well, it sounds like I'm preaching to the choir when I say, can you believe these things? I mean, aren't they fantastic? Where would we be without shoes? I tell you where we'd be. We'd be at home. <laughs> I'm not stepping outside without my shoes on. <laughs> not on these old city streets. <laughs> I'm telling you, the sidewalks out there, they're dirty. You should wear shoes when you go out to walk on them. It's true. That's my tip of the night. <laughs> Thank you. They say a, uh, you can tell what books a person has by looking at their bookshelf. One book you would not find on my bookshelf this evening is this one, the one in my hand. They say a book in the hand is worth it if the book in your hand is the book you want to read. However, if the book in your hand is not the book you want to read, then you prove the saying false that a book in the hand is worth it. Best to place that book down and pick up a book you would like to read to prove the saying true that a book in the hand is worth it. That's just an old saying uh, from my home state of Texas. Any Texans here? Ah, we went from a woo to a yeehaw and a how. Well, the uh, book in my hand are the sonnets by William Shakespeare, widely regarded as the Shakespeare of his day. And I would like to prove my point by reading a sonnet for you now. Uh, if you have your copy, you can turn to sonnet number 31. Sonnet number 31. I should be clear by now, I am a man of letters. A, B, C, D, I've used them all. That's just a little joke about everyone's favorite alphabet, the alphabet. I shall uh, begin. Ahem, ahem, and, um, ahem. Thy bosom is a miracle, I am. It's high by lacking and sufficient light. And there reigns love and leaves and walking time. And all those friends which I have called them. How many are sick as tears? I dare it is as love's down on my head. As entries from the dead which not appear. But things will be with that in there in my head. Thou art the grave where burden and a fire. Hung with trophies of thy living thing. Who all their hearts on me on thee to give. That do many now learn this time. Their image in my love lies here, and though they must fall, they 
And forgive me, I forgot to put on my glasses before I started speaking. <laughs> and that is, um, that is all I have to say about that. <laughs> well, I uh, would like to say that uh, I've reached uh, the end of my time up here, and I uh, do uh, wish to say that uh, in leaving here and uh, reflecting on the uh, time we've spent together, I uh, do uh, wish to say that uh, leaving here, I uh, think that uh, there is a uh, few words that uh, come to uh, my uh, mind, and I uh, would like to share them here tonight before I go uh, away. Uh, and uh, those uh, words are at these, that uh, in the end, I feel it's not I who have uh, entertained you, but are you who have entertained me in my flights of fancy, and I uh, thank you for it. And uh, I really don't know how to stop talking like that. <laughs> I invite you to start talking like that when you go home, and uh, you'll find you get into a groove, and it's hard to break out of it. In any event, have a wonderful Friday, an even better Saturday, a better Sunday, a happy Monday, a wonderful Tuesday, a wacky Wednesday, a lovely Thursday, and round it out with a real funky Friday next Friday. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. That's Ike of Pomodou, ladies and gentlemen. Ike, join me over here. Ike. Welcome to Uncle Hi. Julian's Chamber of Chats. Ah, uh, I love a good chamber of chats. Yeah, Let it's a chat chamber. What. It's uh, that's How are you, my thing. friend? That was a real great set. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you very yeah. much. Now, have you done that? Thank you. Thank you. First of all, can I yes. offer you uh, either a pea-colored or a clear glass of uh, tequila? It's pretty good. Let's see. Give me a little pea. Colored. Yeah, there you go. That's the way to do it. I love a little pea-colored anything. <laughs> Really? Not sure what that was supposed to mean. I don't know either. But, but that's your job. Here, why don't you just pour it yourself? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me do this. Because I don't want to. I don't want to decide for you. There you go. There, you, physical comedy. So, I tell me a little bit about um, this project you're working on about leisure that's coming up. I'm super curious because I love yes. leisure. Just take your time now. <laughs> so, um. Yes, I've uh, recently taken an interest in leisure. Sure. And um, <laughs> here's the thing about leisure, is that it's, um, I think it's a part, of, it's a very interesting lens through which to consider the uh, project of civilization. Uh, what we do from day to day, and what generations do, and uh, what generations pass on to the next generation. <laughs> And so I should like to uh, consider leisure uh, at length and uh, come up with a show about it. <laughs> and, Terrific. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I Rather don't think... Rather like this leisurely conversation that we're having about it. Yes, I will make a point eventually. And uh, that's... It's super terrific to just get to sit and let you go because I uh. feel like I'm in really, really reliable hands. I can just let you do that thing you do so beautifully. What's your yes. next act? When can we find you next? Uh, next, well, I'm, I'm on a show, let's see, a week from today. Um, Funky Friday. Funky Friday. <laughs> no, you were taking notes. I have. Uh, it's at, uh, you know, I forget the name of the venue. Oh, shit. But it's in Manhattan's Upper West Side. Ooh. That is the opposite of the Lower, lower West e Side, where we are now. Oh, well, it's half an opposite. I would half think the real opposite. opposite would be Lower East. From you know, that is actually I mean, the I don't want to be rude. Opposite. You're the guest. But you're the host. I am. And the host I must am. Such is my lot. Yeah. That is your lot in life. And uh, Listen, I want to well. ask you a favor. Yes, yes. First of all, let's make sure that people know how to find you online. Uh, on Twitter, you am I right? You are Ike Minded? Ike Minded, correct. I-K-E-M-I-N-D-E-D. -E -E take a minute, everybody, to take out those phones. Really do it. That's how we work here. Mm -hmm. We're actually taking a minute to follow our new friends. Yes. I want to ask you if you'd be willing to play our monthly game. 
Yes. I would love to play a monthly game. Terrific. It's just once a month. Mm. And it's about to happen. Will you join me on the stage? Oh, of course. Bring your drink. Of course. Bring okay. Your drink. I bring my beverage here. You can leave here. your props. Leave my come props. Back and get them. Ladies and gentlemen, Ike Ofomadu. Oh, my goodness. Frequent visitors to our little outpost here will know that we do like to play a game once in a while. And we like to peg that game to some kind of meaningful theme. But it can be hard. What, <laughs> what I need to help me out is my game master and uh, boss, Jennifer Sendra. Where is she? You want to come up higher? <laughs> there she is. Yes. <laughs> We'll have to polish the popping up thing, too. You've got to get up above the table next time. <laughs> You're aging, you said? The trap door got caught. Oh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Jennifer right. Sendro, she runs this, this outfit. Yeah. So we had wondered whether you'd be willing to do this with us, and now, as I predicted, uh, he will. He's I am foolishly a, agreed. He's doing it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about tonight's game, Jennifer? Well, it's very simple. <laughs> it's very simple. It's called. We're calling it C or We. C or We. C or We. <laughs> I have to We. So can we hurry up? <laughs> it has two rounds. Round one is very very simple. The answer to every question in round one is either Mexico or France, because it is... Cinco de Mayo. On Sunday, right? Almost, right. Yes. So that's the right. theme we are loosely pegging <laughs> this little game <laughs> the to. The annual commemoration of this war between Mexico and France. So when the answer is Mexico, you will hear... <laughs> and when the answer is France, you will hear... Oh, sacre bleu. Okay. Yes. We could just do that. We have a live so. band. Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> They're just, we, I don't know. <laughs> They're just jazz um, musicians. What so do they know? Let's do a practice question. You, oh. you want to do the practice question? Or I, I love do practice. You want to do the practice <laughs> question? Okay. So which country was the United States supporting in the war between Mexico and France? Was it Mexico or France? Well, if I know the U.S., which I do very well, uh, I would have to say that in that war, it was the, um, uh, we were supporting Mexico. <laughs> oh, you That's are right. correct. That was correct. Congratulations, right. Ike Fomadu. Right. There you go. That's right. Now, now, if you want to join Julian in finding someone in the crowd that looks vaguely intelligent. Yes, um, who would like to play uh, round who wants, one who wants to play? of we or C? So I shall huh? find Just a contestant. Just pick a victim. No, contestant, you don't want to do it? candidate, applicant, You're the closest supplicant. person to me. And, uh, All right, there you go. I told you not to sit in front. I Remember, the prize what is, is not your name, from my lady. basement. Susan. Hi, Susan. Thanks so much for joining us uh, here on uh, 44 Charlton. Where are you from? Um, California, sort of. I, I live here. You live in New York. Well, everybody who lives in New York is a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, I'm a New Yorker. Terrific. How long have you been a New Yorker? Twenty years. Oh well, shit, fuck that. I mean, you're really a New Yorker. What are you worried about? You got nothing to be ashamed of. So our first question for Susan is, yeah. and think so carefully. Now, we're just trying to get three players to advance to round two. So Susan, you could be one of them if you get this right. Okay. Oh, okay. Ready? All right. The first war between Mexico and France was nicknamed the Mexico and France? They fought two wars. Uh, don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is not... While she is yeah. talking. I'm yeah. Geology. NYU. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. NYU Auditions are next week, away. Susan, but easy. thanks for trying. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good grief. Okay, so yeah, well, there's no Just answer the involved. question. Um, the first war between Mexico and France was nicknamed the Pastry War because it started after a pastry chef complained his shop was looted. Where was the chef from? Mexico or France? Would you repeat the question? I mean, oh, you've got a 50 50 season. <laughs> Just say something. If it was pastry, it would be France. Oh, very informed decision. Yeah, come on. Come with me. Yeah. Come with me. You advanced to round two. Yeah, yeah. sorry, babe. I know, right. it's terrible. Watch the wires. Yeah. Bring your drink. Don't come on trip. Up, Susan. So, yeah. a French pastry chef with a shop on the outskirts of Mexico City claimed that military officers stole his croissants, and the French king believed him and started a war over it. 
Oh, I was supposed to stop and let you That's say that first. That's the 1830s Sorry, for you. Sorry. Oh, there's boxes of All electronics right. down there. All, All right. right, let's go over to this fella here just because he's conveniently located. Wait. All right. Okay. <laughs> What's your name, son? It's Nick. Hi, Nick. Where do you come from? Brooklyn. Originally? No. Where originally? Connecticut. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Nick, uh, my friend and uh, my boss, Jennifer Asendro, is going to ask you a question about Mexico or France. If the answer is Mexico, you say Mexico. If the answer is France, you say France. And maybe you can advance to the next round, Jennifer. This is feeling like, are you smarter than a pre-K? Than, an, than, a, um, than an idiotic <laughs> show host? Yeah, go ahead. One of the most famous battles between Mexico and France involved a one-handed general. Did he fight for Mexico or France? Think about it. Think it through. Really use your mind. 50-50 chance here, man. Just go for it. Mexico. Oh, oh sorry, Nick. Eh. Our one-handed general was, Fran was French. Yep. So many great one-handed people were from France. You'd think that he would have gotten that. Do you want to say something about that, Jennifer? I have not much to say about that. Let's move on. All right, how about All this right. young lady right here? Yeah, I mean, Ike isn't getting to pick anyone here. Oh, Ike, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's no, right. no, no, I'm I just like it if you just follow Ike's me around silently. Ike's just an accessory silently. to I'm this shadowing, crime. I'm shadowing, I'm shadowing. Yeah, he's learning story. how to wait tables Intern, with me tonight. Yeah. How, how, how does it work? Just by shadowing All right, who you me. Got Hi, over my there? name is Julian Fleischer, and I'll be your waiter for the evening. Previously, I was seen in February House at the Public Theater and Coraline at uh, MCC. Uh, what can I get? Oh, you see, you already have wine, so let's have a question. All right, so you probably don't think this dish is from either country, but in one of these countries, the Caesar salad was invented. Was it Mexico or France? Je pense France. I'm sorry, pretty lady, it's Mexico. Yeah, yeah, because Cesar was yeah. the chef, if I'm right. Invented in Tijuana in 1924. I'm sorry you do not get to advance, but All right. what, you'll thank me later. All right. Next uh, player. Why don't you run down there somewhere and, and find another here. player who wants to uh, play this okay. ridiculous game? I see someone that's right awake right there. Be shy. That oh. person looks awake. This right here. person yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dear, sorry. Dear, dear. You stood by an aisle. That's what happens. Yeah. Sorry about that. You yeah. have to stick around here. All right. A contestant has been chosen. Why don't you ask her her name? Hello there. And uh, what is your name, pray tell? Dasha. Dasha. Hello, Dasha. Dasha, I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around for the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dasha, we're about to uh, facilitate the asking of a question from the <laughs> stage to you. And uh, are you ready? He's a master of the passive Here voice. Here you go. I'm ready. One of these countries has a program that lets artists pay their taxes in the form of art rather than cash. Is it Mexico or France? Is it France? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It is Mexico. It's nice. I like it when, when, when uh, yeah. public... Go ahead. The government of Mexico has collected over 7,000 paintings, sculptures, drawings, and graphics through a payment-in-kind program for artists that sell fewer than five pieces a year. What? Lord only knows. I don't I know. I feel like it's always terrific when NPR listeners' expectations are upended. Y'all are learning some public radio here. I'm just right. coming over to this fella because he's sitting here. What's your name? Jay. Hey, Jay. What's going on, man? This? Yeah, this is going on. Jennifer, quick. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> Frida Kahlo had her first solo exhibition Mexico. in New York in 1938. <laughs> Was her second solo exhibition in Mexico or France? Think about it, Jay. Please get it right. I'm going to go with Mexico. Oh, shit, fuck. Do we have another question? <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay. I'm going to get a second player right now. All <laughs> we right. got to get to round two. Look at you. this young lady. You. Here, will you, all right. do you mind? There she is. In the, okay, in the all right. Here Which we go. Which country shares a land border with the United States of America? Is it Mexico or France? <laughs> is it Mexico? <laughs> Yes! Come on, get her up here. Okay. Come on up. Come, come, come on up. Woo. Thank you, Ike. Thank you for helping out. All right, I'm going to go into the back here. I'm going to go All into right. the way, way back. How about you, fella? What's your name? Uh, Andrew. Great. Jennifer, I got Andrew way All in the right. back row. Andrew. Cheap seats. 
Which country has more women represented in its national parliament? Is it Mexico or France? Mexico. France. <laughs> he said Mexico. He said Real Mexico, fast. but I didn't have the microphone close yeah. enough to his mouth. He yeah. gets that one. He said Mexico. Oh, he did say Mexico. Yes. Oh, okay, it's Mexico. Come on, he got yeah, it. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, we're doing Mexico. this, we're doing this. All right. Here's the thing. He said Mexico before I got the mic to his face. I haven't really learned the mic thing. All right. So here's round two of our show, of our little game. Um, because no one here at 44 Charlton can really adequately or um, honestly represent Mexican culture, we decided to change Cinco de Mayo to Cinco de Mayo. Which is a little something we can all get behind. I know I can. I'm a mayo man, never been one for mustard. So, Jennifer, now that you have... Um, oh, my God, this is worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's so much worse than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> can you explain to our dare. hapless... Go it just became double dare. Just okay, so now what's going to happen? I know, a couple people are in their 30s. Um... That's a Nickelodeon reference. Okay, so there's five uh, containment units <laughs> filled with mayonnaise. Uh, it's fresh mayonnaise. It's never been used on any sandwiches. It's not from my basement. And inside one of these is another beautiful mariachi duck with 44 written on its little ducky behind. So roll up those sleeves. <laughs> and the first one of you to find the 44 duck gets a prize. You got a really good prize. Should we tell them what it is so that they, sure. they have what's called an incentive in economics? Yeah. Right. Oh, yes. It's our own Cinco de Mayo bottle of Montezuma tequila, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. And a whole green space mug full of And limes. shot glasses to share with your lucky friends yeah. here in our audience. Yeah, so this is the guy you're looking for, and uh, All right. we got you some napkins. Drum there roll, please. Oh, yeah, just, just dig in. your hands into that goddamn mayo and find the duck yeah. with the 44 on its ass. <laughs> on your mark, get set, begin. <laughs> this is truly disgusting. We're looking for a 44 on a duck's ass. Yay! We have a winner. Thank you so much for playing. Um, what's your name again? Uh, my name is Lauren, and I'd, I'd like to say that as a white person, the mayonnaise challenge came very naturally yeah. to me. We have the best audiences here at 44 Children. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to offer our, our guests some towels. I'm going to offer you your Montezuma's Revenge. Now, just stay right there. You grab that. And now, while we help our guests clean up, we're going to take uh, a little pause here, obviously. And intermission, we'd like to invite you at this time to uh, check your phones, uh, tweet, and Instagram our fabulous show. And we'll be back in just about 10 minutes. Please enjoy the 44 Charltones, led by John Sperney with Leon Boykins and Baron Ahrens on drums. You guys are good sports.
the 44 Charlton, ladies and gentlemen. That's John Sperney, our music director, Leon Boykins on bass, and Ben Ahrens, the bad boy of the Charltowns on drums. Give me a little button. Give me a button, Ben. Give me another button. Give me two more buttons. One more. You guys are the best. God bless you. So uh, we have another sort of uh, occasionally occur uh, occurring segment I like to call Get the Guest, ladies and gentlemen, where we take advantage of a room full of smart, handsome, attractive, beautiful people and uh, ask one of them to, uh, to join me on stage for a little chat because it's more fun to know who's in our audience, frankly, than who's on our stage. So I'm just going to grab this fella. Have a seat. Someone's going to hand you a microphone, and I'd like you to grab it. Oh, my goodness. Have a seat. What's your name? My name's Brian. Hey, Brian. Where are you from? Uh, from the Berkshires. And uh, nobody will believe this. You'll think it's a setup. But I I'm a French teacher who was born on the 5th of May. Fuck no. <laughs> but but I, I wouldn't have gotten any of those questions <laughs> right. Is that really true? I didn't want my hands in mayo, so I, I you know. <laughs> you didn't know there was going to be mayo. You're, you're a French teacher born on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Nice. And what brought you all the way here from Massachusetts? Uh, uh, 44 Charlton. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an internet fan. I've been watching uh, remotely. We're on the internet? All spring. Yes. Are we really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Well, nice. So uh, you teach French? I do. Are you French? No, not at all. So how does a person who's not French start teaching French? Uh, Catholic school mm. in Boston. Yeah, Ooh, French nuns. That's got it tough. Sorry. Yeah, man. that sounds <laughs> rough. I could not have survived that. There's no question. My first French teacher, her name was Sister Helen. She was a Chanel nun. Explain. She wore very tasteful <laughs> below the knee uh, skirt suits and uh, fake Chanel scarves. She was really? very elegant. Yeah. This is a nun. They can do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. They have a lot of nerve punishing other people for being <laughs> themselves. <laughs> When they're going to run around wearing a Chanel But she suit. was tough. She was tough. It was an all-boys school, and uh, she would come in in the morning and say, all right, men, open your books. Uh, we were 10, <laughs> we were 10 years old. That's not what I thought yeah. you were going to say. I like that. <laughs> open your books, men. I like that. I'm going to use that probably before the night is over. Uh, tell me your name again. Brian. Brian, right. Yeah. Thank you, Brian, so much for joining us here. Thank at you very Charlton. much. It's, it's a great pleasure. to have an out-of-towner. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian, the French teacher from Massachusetts. Thank you so much. Oh, you know what? I may have <laughs> fucking jumped the gun. This whole thing was just a uh, cover for, uh, for the setup for the next band. So um, if I jump the gun, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, our next act uh, hails all the way from Brooklyn. Their album out now is called Australia on Don Giovanni Records. That sounds very classy. Uh, they performed the MoMA Sculpture Garden. That's also super classy. And on July 19th, they have a show at Industry City with Nick Hackham. Please welcome Zenizen. <laughs>
need to get out, we need to get out. This place is now forsaken. We need to get out, we need to get out. Deliver us once again having us we're gonna keep going but I want to um, shout out what well, a my dad's here Hi. <laughs> um, we also have more special guests Diane is here I'm very excited Diane Muse thank you for being here love a good parent attendance um, this song is called follow the leader it's off an um, EP called Australia I went to Australia I wrote it um, so we're working on our new records. This is kind of going to be the last time that we play this stuff for a little bit. So. Go ahead. 
Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. Aren't they beautiful? Can I ask you to join me on the stage? On the small stage? Opal. Keep clapping, keep clapping while she transitions. There you go. That's how we do it in New York. There we go. Are you plugged into something terrible? Oh. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Take out her cable. Yes, come on around here, beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. Come on, have a seat. I am? Oh, that's sweet. Tell me why. <laughs> what happened to Brian, by the way? Just gone. Usually, you got to kick them out of here. Um, well, we tweeted for a while, and I was like, <laughs> great. But then we showed up today and loved your outfit. Oh, you like the outfit. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much. This yeah. suit. You know, I got to say, it was, a, it was a lark. It was a... It's not casual. A, yeah, thank you. And how about you, Madam Butterfly over here? You know, just you have some stuff in your closet, you put it on you. Like, I have a few questions for you. Yes. First of all, go ahead, take it while I'm looking at you because my chin <laughs> looks better this way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, scram. I'm kidding, of course. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> tell me something. C tell me about the name Zenizen. I'm so curious. We were all running around going, is it Zenizen? Is it Zenizen? No, you know what? That happens all the time. Like, I feel like it's kind of like. People want to do like the not basic version, but it's just it's denizen with a Z. <laughs> so I'm sorry, that is what I was saying. It's denizen with a D. Say, oh no, I'm yeah, gonna exactly. get in trouble later. I'm not allowed to complain. Yeah, it really is. Um, you know, Occam's razor. Um, it's just you know that kind of like I over. Does everybody know Occam's razor, by the way? Oh yeah. Just like, don't overthink it. The right. most basic version is probably what's happening, and that I overthink everything. Well, so. if it's the basic version, trust me to think yeah. of it. <laughs> so it's just kind of, it's a portmanteau to kind of just. All right, remember. easy on the vocabulary. Oh, lady. oh my God, I like, oh my gosh. We got Denizen, <laughs> Portmanteau, and Occam's Razor in like a 130 I'm just trying to mind interview. my own business. Jesus it's Christ. so hard. I know you're out here know grilling me. I know it's WNYC, but take it easy. I feel the pressure, I know. So I just want to read um, from Twitter my favorite tweet of the last year. So this is from an artist on Twitter named, known as Zenizen, who bears a striking resemblance to you. Funny, and she tweets, I applied for a job at the green space, and they said no, but I'm gonna do this show anyway. <laughs> 44 Charlton on May 3rd. So Zenizen, I have to ask you. <laughs> now you know I retweeted that many times. Tell me the story. I, I mean, that's exactly what happened. What job did you apply for? I applied to be a producer here. Um, no one cared. <gasps> and then, and that. Accountability, and trust, transparency. Yeah, that's that the it. new era at WMIC. Here's what it looks like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's Go okay. On. I'm totally fine being here in this capacity as well. Well, I think this is the capacity yeah. you should be here in. <laughs> Thank you. You know? Thank if you. producing was going to be your side hustle, then good for you for waiting, because this is what you clearly were born to do. It was Thank a beautiful you. performance. I had a great time. Where can we see you next? How can my people find you? Um, we are, so we're working on a record, which we've been kind of like in a hole, but we're playing on the 19th of July um, at Industry City with Nick Hakim and Duendita, two of my favorite people. Where? The Industry City is out by the, by the... It's deep. It's like 36th Street D. It's that thing you see when you're on the BQE headed towards Staten Island, right? Yeah. Right, okay. Over like by when I was in high school, though, that was like, <laughs> when I was in high school, though, that was like uptown. I was, I was in oh, the Oh, tell me more. So you're from New York. <laughs> I went to high school here for a little while. My, my dad lives in, in Greenwood Heights now. You're pointing as if he's here. He is here. Shit, fuck. <laughs> Raise your hand, Daddy. Nice to see you. We were wondering who the guy with the man bun would be. <laughs> It's very again. important, very important. Nice work, sir. Nice work. <laughs> what a beautiful young, young lady you have built. This is Opal Thank of you so much. I want to ask you to quickly just, they've left the stage, but identify your band members before you go. Oh my gosh, yeah, 100%. Um, Jake Cavell was on drums. Julian Anderson was on bass. Julian. Um, I was in my first band with him. And um, Ben Amin was on uh, guitars. Great. This is Opal of Zenizen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. What a beautiful evening. And now for one final performance. Oh, oh, you're sweet. 
Thank you. Come back and again. Um, I do want to um, just check up on my uh, my le- my white lady from the Mayo scene. Like, how? Ha- <laughs> okay. But you guys are going through the tequila, right? Good. So before we get to the, uh, it's it's Becky, right? <laughs> Before we get to the last act of the evening, I do want to share with you that one of our favorite audience members uh, here, a a gal who's been joining us at 44 Charlton for years to come, has come tonight with her family to celebrate her birthday. So I would like you all to help me in singing happy birthday to the woman who writes our checks at WNYC, Pauline Rodney, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pauline. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for spending your birthday with us, Pauline. I don't know why anybody would do that, but I'm delighted that you did. Thank you so much for coming. You've come to so many shows, and you are the check writer here at WYC. Okay. Uh, okay, one more show before we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we, we met him earlier this evening. Um, I, for one, hoped he might return. <laughs> and do more. So... Put your hands together for that charming bastard, Jack Barrow!
gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Um, give me a hug. <laughs> Touch me. Thank you so much. Don't leave, actually. Stick with us for a moment. Wow. Well, that paid off. <laughs> There's still just a little mayo on the stage, Becky. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us for yet another episode of 44 Charlton. We don't even know how we do it. It just happens, and we're glad to, hear, to be here to deliver it for you. Um, let me invite everyone who had anything to do with this evening's show onto the stage. You know how we like to end the show every month, ladies and gentlemen? I ask you to stand. I ask you to take the hand of the person sitting next to you. That means you standing on your actual feet. We like to sing a song together because it feels real good. Stick with me, babe. If you don't know the words to this song, you will find them on the monitors above you. And here's how it goes. Sing out, everybody. Don't be shy. Here's how it goes. Listen as your day unfolds. Challenge what the future holds. Try and keep your head up to the sky. Lovers, they may cause you tears. Go ahead, release your fears. Stand up and be counted, don't be ashamed. Sing out, here we go. Let me take a minute to thank the many beautiful people who helped put this crazy show together. Our director, Eileen Delahante, she will wave for you. Oh, there she is. Come out here. Come on, say hi. She won't be here next month, so thank you for a beautiful season, Eileen Delahante. Jennifer Sendro, Miss Mannies, Sachi Zora, there she is, wave, baby. Cam Tompkins, not here tonight, of course. Ricardo Fernandez on Lights and Sound. Games the Gare as well. Chase Kopan on sound in the back. Joan Klimkevitz upstairs. Utsuki Otska. Alexandra Pinnell. Where'd she go, Allie? Oh, uh, where is she? Shanti Brown and Charlie Pinnell as well. Courtney Barth, Dave Keaton, David McLean, and Francesco Saviano. I'm Julian Fleischer, your host. One more chorus. And this time, sing out, Louise. 